In round two, our experts have seven questions to choose from, ranging in difficulty from $1 to $7. But those $7 questions are really hard. Each expert will answer two questions, but here they have a choice whether to answer or push. And if they push and their opponent gets it right, their opponent gets the money. Our experts don't lose any money in round two, but if they're smart, they can keep their opponents from making much money. So Warren, with eight, this is the highest, lowest score in the history of the experts. Eight, you go first. You got your one point question. That's gonna be your easiest question. You can pass it. Hold on to that, Warren. Don't give that away. It's worth more than any money you're gonna win in this game. But it looks like you're passing your one point to Dave. Dave, here is your one dollar question uh, in the category of Nightmare on Elm Street. What actress played Kristen Parker in part four, The Dream Master? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Awesome. Very well done. You get one. We go now to you, Dave. Let's see which number you come up with. You're three. Three. All right. An average question. You want to play it? Give it to Amber or Warren? Um, I will give it to Warren. You give it to Warren. This is a number three bat question, Warren. Where specifically can the world's largest number of Mexican free-tailed bats be found? Uh, Bracken Cave, off in uh, Texas. That is good for three. Bracken Cave in Texas is where you can look at Mexican free-tailed bats. Amber, let's see you swipe. Big money, no whammy. And you get a two, another easy question. You want to pass it to one of your opponents? I'm going to send it to Dave. Dave, Sorry. you get your one and your two. Not a good way to get okay, offense. These players know what they're doing. They saw you get 10 right the first time. Obviously, give them this one and a two. What 2010 documentary chronicled the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise? Never Sleep Again. Never Sleep Again is right. So Dave cannot answer any more questions. Warren, take a swipe. Five. Now we're getting into the good ones. Warren, do you want to answer that five question or do you want to pass it to Amber? He makes a bat move. I'll pass it. I'll pass it. Amber, this is your number five question, Arrested Development. When the Bluth family appears on the show Mock Trial with Judge Reinhold, what is the name of the house band on the show? William Hung Jury. The William well, Hung Jury. William, William Hung, Hung and, and his jury. Hung Jury. We're going to give it to you. That's for five. Come on. You knew what you had to know there. Amber, time to swipe a four. And Amber, you can answer your four or only pass it to Warren. I will answer this one. Answer this. Okay. What phrase is printed on the shirt of Job's puppet Franklin Delano Bluth? A reference to a 2005 Kanye West quote. White people? <laughs> White people is not a phrase, Amber. Uh, George Bush doesn't care about black puppets. So you don't Something get racist. that one. And now uh, we, we have one more question this round, and Dave swipes, and he can give it to uh, Warren. Ah, that's just what you wanted. Warren, you get your seven-point question here. This is gonna be the toughest bat question of the round. What is the largest bat normally found in Canada? The big brown bat. I'm sorry, it's the hoary bat. The hoary bat is the largest Canadian bat. Uh, and we will be back with round three. <laughs>